always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> well, get out of here. meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. I guess I... I'm afraid. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. There's a good man within you. But he is wrestling with a giant. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Our time is pretty much past. May the wind be at your back. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. my life. You're a good man. man. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. That's all I ever believed in. Told me about Sarah. Ellie! And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone, fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. I did it. I got him. Great, Pam. Good job. Hey. You're strong, Clem. You can do anything. But I'm little. That mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now you. Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. 
Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's for your safety, Clem. If you don't get out in time. But I can wait until then. No, honey. You can't. You can't risk it. It, it is, it is like Larry, huh? I know you did it to protect me. Yes, you just have to do it. It'll be okay. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. My father, Alex Mason, gave up everything he had. He abandoned me so he could defend his country from people like you. I hated him for that. But now, here I am. With you. So we are the same, David. Shaped by those we have lost. I throw this to the Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner, definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they, I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. <sighs> Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He says, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? Yeah. Need some air. We were meant for this, Nathan. You, me, Together, we were destined for something great. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. Yeah, he's meant for this life. Oh, oh, crap! Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. 
Shame we're not on the same side. I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. So, are you ready to seek your fortune? Hang on, Nathan! Where is the artifact? Heads up! Go, go! I made a promise that I was done with this life. How long have we been chasing this thing? Long time. Real long time. Just you and me. <laughs> no offense to these guys, but they don't get it. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. Watch out! Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer. Drop everything. Go home. Live your life. Or we can just end it right here. There's got to be another way. I need you on this one. Stop! You ever wonder, like, different choices? How we might have ended up? No. I like the hand we've been dealt. Okay, guys, stack up. They said not to wait up. So you reckon that the rainbow sprinkles are the way forward with the donut? Absolutely, because then you get the different textures Shh. between soft donuts and Because you do get your ass over here right now. Do you lose something, Sarge? You drop something, Sarge? This is supposed to be a stealth mission. Why? Ah, never mind. You're here now. I need you to breach that door. Oh, oh, charades! I know this, it's on the tip of my tongue. Hang uh, on, is it, is hang it on. Is it musical? No, no, it's gonna no. be, uh, is it, it's, it's a book. No, no. Okay, sign language 101. This means stay low, this means stack up, and this means I'm gonna put your lights out if you don't shut up. Stack up? No, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that means one syllable. Ah, just shut up. Breach that door. Okay. okay. Should I still be stacking?
Bowie. Vin of kick ass time. Let's do it. be a good time. It just, it just blew him all over the place. Wow. Evidently, your actions have unleashed unnatural forces. There are always consequences. You create the doors. Abominations. We do not have much time. They will return soon. Going down. At least go down fighting. We cannot know what comes next. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, 
wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, It's that war, war never changes. Tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, Fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Where now? The penthouse. I'm gonna skull fuck that bitch. Hope you don't mind hepatitis. What? Can I take your order, please? Carl, what do you want? You gotta eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like his. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder. Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I'd give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? What's up, can a law come up in your crib? Man, fuck you, I'll see you at work. 
Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, honey. As I like to think, in the long history of the world, that there are only a few generations. Sounds like someone breaking in. It's just a storm, dick. Sit down. It appears the Pentagon has been breached. Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like these, our capacity to retaliate must be, and has to be massive, to deter all forms of aggression. Gentlemen, lock and load. Viva la revolución! Any last words, Mr. President? Yes, Jack. Any superlative words of inspiration for our humble troops? Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. All warfare is based on deception. For years, the West's hypocrisy has made the world a battlefield. The corrupt talk, while our brothers and sons spill their own blood. This seat cuts both ways. Russian authorities claim the attack was orchestrated by an American CIA operative named Joseph Allen. The bigger the lie, the more likely people will believe it. And when a nation cries for vengeance, the lie spreads like a wildfire. I'm looking at fighter jets over at any time. The fire builds, devouring everything in its path. This is a deliberate act of war against the United States. Our enemies believe that they alone dictate the course of history. That all it takes is the will of a single man. You see that? Shh, don't scare it. I won't, I won't. What are you doing? It's all right. Come here, come here. Hey, buddy. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Hey there. <laughs> so fucking cool. Oh, where's it off to? Here, come on. Let's go. Say, slow down, kiddo. <laughs> Everything you were hoping for? It's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. Trust your leaders to destroy it? Or do you think they will use it? The flag may be different, but the methods are the same. They will use you as they used me. You must decide. Decide what you think is worth fighting for. Dragovich, Kravchenko, Stein. These men must die. 
Dragovich brainwashed you, but Reznov had plans of his own. Mason. Reznov. How'd you get out of Vakuda? I trusted him. That's why it worked. It was their attempt at MK Ultra. Dragovich programmed you to kill Kennedy, but Reznov sabotaged you. He wanted revenge for all the Dragovich done to him. Dragovich, Kurchenko, Steiner, three new victims. There are gaps in your memory. Periods where you went MIA and we couldn't account for you. But now that the brainwashing's been broken, all that lost time will come back. We need to leave. The Nova 6 strike is imminent. Hundreds of sleeper agents, hidden in every state capital, are about to unleash this poison on your own countrymen. When Steiner died, we lost our key to unlocking the location of number broadcasts. You were programmed at Borkuda to translate the number codes. Only you can tell us what the codes mean. Nova 6 was just one of the sleeper operations, but I'm sure there were others. Ones we didn't even know about. We have the broadcasts. We play them to you over and over again for hours, but we haven't been able to break through your programming yet. Mason, this is our last shot. Listen, for God's sake, listen again. 21, 7, 21, 4, 2, 14, 3, 14, 7, 18, 13, 6, 22. Do with him what you wish, General. It's my gift to you. In honor of our new relationship. I know you. Lord Kuta. You don't know what we did to you. The subject has been successfully implanted with the knowledge to translate the number sequences. Broadcast station within their borders. Borders. From now until Project Nova's initiation, all instructions will be broadcast from the result. Our plan to strike at the very heart of the West is now in motion. Await further instructions. I know where the number station is. It's a ship. I saw it a long time ago. The Rasalka. Where? Cuba. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. And the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mix them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. All right, I've been thinking. 
When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day and thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down with the lemons. Oh, like I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. Burn house down. <laughs> Finding people, he says what we're all thinking. The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> now, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. Oh, thank God, you're all right. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? You win. Just go. Oh. It's been fun. Don't come back. you. That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, 